Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. A book of precious photos and memories. Iranian-born Lily Mojadjer remembers the 1998 World Cup game in France between Iran and the USA as if it were yesterday. Yeah, here is me, my mom and a friend, an Iranian friend in Lyon. It's just after the match, so we were very happy with our shirts coming freshly from Iran. <laughs> Lily's friend Ahmed Fazeli was also in the stadium. Today he's a wine cellar in the city of Lyon where the match took place. I was so happy to be able to say that we are Iranian. Playing the Americans offered people hope for these two countries that were tearing each other apart. The FIFA draw that saw Iran and the USA pitted together was clearly welcomed by some fans, but it caused a diplomatic headache for organisers. It had been nearly two decades since the Iranian revolution ousted the US backed Shah, and relations between Tehran and Washington were hostile. Both teams were under pressure and in the spotlight. We had security in 94, we have security right now. We have, have tried to have focus for the game and nothing else. Iran's supreme leader forbade the Iranian team to walk up to the Americans to shake hands before the game. So a compromise was found. The Iranians gave flowers and the two sides posed for a photo. During the game, there was a protest, not against the US, but against Iran's government. But it didn't disrupt the match, which ended in a victory for Iran. Tehran erupted in celebrations. Rugby matches are played here these days, but it was in this stadium in 1998 that Iran beat USA 2-1 in one of the most politically charged games in World Cup history. It was crazy, amazing, super. The game changed the image of Iran. An Iranian girl uh, with a painting of uh, Iranian flag on her cheek. Uh, she was uh, kissing uh, an American supporter, you know. And, um, I mean, it was really, really fun. Iran and USA meet once again in the Qatar World Cup. Political tensions remain high between the two countries and Tehran's crackdown of anti-government protests mean that Ahmad and Lily say they'll watch the game, but with mixed feelings. More than 20 years after experiencing the excitement of Iran's first ever World Cup win. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Lyon.